Hello and welcome everyone to this beautiful new park. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has worked so hard to create it. And a special thank you to a very talented local artist who has made this great sculpture here. Ooh. <laughs> And so the time has come for the awaited attraction. With the unveiling of this statue, I declare this park open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> awesome! Do you like it? Yeah, it's very good. But what is it? Huh? <laughs> it's an elephant riding a motorbike, obey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a bird. I was just wondering what kind of bird it is. Is it an eagle? What's that? Well, I mean, it's a big bird with a sharp beak, and it has claws. No! What's that over there? Huh? Hey! 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 Stop! Hey! Stop, hey, stop, stop coming this way! way. No. I don't get it. Why doesn't the driver see us? And why can't we see the driver? Huh. Oh! Huh? No! There is no driver! It's a runaway digger. Uh, it's driving straight towards us. It's headed towards your mom's statue. We've got to stop it. But how? With teamwork, that's how. Come uh, on. I was afraid you'd say that. Uh, what's your plan? We'll climb on, get in, and hit the brakes. Uh, uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, uh, I've changed my mind. It's impossible. Uh, how are we going to get up there? We've just got to try. Come on. Obi, climb up. Uh, hey! Uh, that really hurt. I know. Thank you, Obi. Without you, we couldn't have gotten up here. You bet. You're the best ladder I've climbed. Huh? Uh, you're welcome. Come on. Okay, let's try and stop this thing. But how do we even do that? I don't even know how to drive a regular car. This is an emergency, Obaid. Try the brakes. Huh? <laughs> They're not working. Then try huh? them again. <laughs> oh, no. Why are we stopping? The brake's broken. There's no steering wheel. How in the world do we make this thing turn? Maybe press huh? this button. Now we can't see where we're going. Move it back to where it was. Uh -huh. ah! 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 Something! That was close. They saved your statue. But who's going to save them? Give me the police. This is an emergency. Oh, that was a close one. Too close. OK, I won't be able to do this without your help. You each take a lever. Yours turns us right, and yours turns us left. I'll fix the brake. Uh, uh, come on, come on, uh, come on! Uh, uh. Oh, we'll have to steer. Get ready, Solemn. Got it. Let's start now. Uh, uh. Thank you. Mansoor, how's fixing the brakes? I think I fixed... Oh, no! Guys, why are we going faster? Because of this. Huh? Are you telling me that we can't stop this thing now? Looks like we'll have to keep driving around the park until we eventually run out of gas. For now, at least. But we should be fine now that we can steer this thing. Mm. Oh! 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 What did you do that for, babe? Well, you said steer. I might have said it, but I didn't mean for you to do it. I was just explaining. Look, all I heard was you say steer, so I steered. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, oh, this can't be good. Good job.
staying in the park, obeyed. What did you want me to do? It's not like I had a choice, you know. Look! Huh? Now we have the cops chasing after us! Let's just keep going in a straight line while we work out what to do. <gasps> so what do you have in mind, then? Nano, can you give me the schematics of the digger, please? Will do, Benzor. How do we shut the engine down? These three wires need to be unplugged. How are we going to do that? Well, someone's going to have to go out there and unplug them. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be the one to go out there and do it. Huh? Well, you shouldn't get out of a moving vehicle. Well, I have to, if we want this to be a non-moving vehicle. Uh, that's true. We're counting on you. Well done, boys. You saved the day. You saved the day. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like these RC diggers. They're easier to drive than the real thing. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Aha. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> One more shoe and you'll have a pair each to wear soon. <laughs> Grandpa, how can there be this much garbage in the harbor? Well, they are trying to raise money to clean it all up. Oh, but they've got a long road ahead. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one! This feels like a big one! <laughs> huh, maybe it's a size 14, Obeyed. Looks like you've got a real monster, Obeyed. Whoa! Oh, oh no! It broke the line. Aw, it's okay. Next time. There's always a next time. Oh, I was about to catch a monster, or so I thought. He was big, all right, but no monster. Did you ever hear of the Beast of Algades? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. When I was a younger man, I used to dive for pearls at Algades. Oh, the work was difficult, all right, but the rewards were worth it. Until... Until... Until the monster came. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark's and had a towering body the size of a whale. I met uh. the beast one day, and I'll never forget those dead black eyes. I think the boys have had enough. We don't want them to actually believe crazy fisherman stories. They're not just fisherman stories. That beast was real. Real, I tell you, as real as you and me, and I can prove it. See for yourself, he bit my boat in half. You mark my words. The beast still guards the treasures of Algatis. Hm. Grandpa, do you think we could go there? I don't see why not. I'm too old to dive now, but you young fellows can. Yay! All right, ready for an adventure? You yeah. bet! Let's sell what we find and use the money for the harbor cleanup. We're here, Whoa. the Algatis Reef. Let's get ready, guys. Here, use these nets to gather the oysters, but just take the big ones. The young ones don't have any pearls, okay? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> through this old pot in the sea. Mm -hmm. Not bad for beginners. I'm sure you'll soon get the hang of it. Let's get back to work. Boys. I did find this crab. <coughs> More like he found huh? you. Whoa! <laughs> guys, hey guys, you won't believe this. There are hundreds, maybe thousands. Come on, I'm sure we'll find a pearl there. Nice work, very nice work, man, sir. Great job. How did you find all that? I had a little help from an octopus. Come on, I'll show you where it is. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> 
all right. It was the size of a full-grown whale. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark. It had dead black eyes. What are you talking about? The, 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 the monster, Grandpa. It's not just a story. It's real. It almost ate turkey. I told you, there's no such thing as sea monsters. Things look bigger underwater. You must have seen something else. Like a moray eel or a... Well, what do you call what's behind you, then? <laughs> <laughs> that? Why, that's just a... A, a sea monster! Ouch! Grandpa, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. But we have to get out of here. And fast, pull up the anchor while I start the engine. Oh no, it's stuck! Salem, Obi, come and help us! <gasps> it's no good. I'm going to have a look. It's a sea monster! It's holding on to the anchor! We can't leave! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Hang on! Try and scare it away. Ooh, you just gave me a great idea. Oh, he finally lost it. Stop, Obey. Not like that. Watch. Huh? Quiet down, boys. Let's see if it did the trick. I guess not. What's this? Oh, my pearl. I forgot all about it. Oh, yes. It's a real beauty, all right. Not much use to us now that we're monster food. <gasps> oh, I think I got it. I know what to do. It's the pearl. Mansoor, the pearl. Let's throw the pearl at the monster. Obeyed. Sure, it's a big pearl, but it's not like it's going to do anything. We're going to need something way bigger than that to do some damage. No, 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 no. Listen, remember what the old fisherman said. The beast guards the treasures of all Gatis. What are you getting at, Obey? I mean, I'm just thinking. Maybe all it wants is its pearl back, you know? I'm out of ideas. Obey could be right. Obey! I think you hit the jackpot! <laughs> The anchor! Quick, help me! It worked! <laughs> the monster let go of the anchor! Okay, then. How about we get out of here? Yeah! <laughs> Your idea was good thinking, Obey. Thank you, thank you. I know. Well, the thing is, I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> Perhaps in the future, I'll listen to old fisherman's tales. And now we have a tale of our own to tell, Grandpa. Oh, look! We still have five oysters and this rusty old pot. Huh? Where did you get that pot? What? You mean that? Incredible. Huh? It doesn't look incredible. No, oh, but it is. It's actually an ancient Persian relic. And by the inscriptions written on its side, I believe this relic must be over a thousand years old. A thousand years old? Nearly as old as me. <laughs> the Persian pot is worth a lot of money, you see. Of course, an important relic like this belongs in the museum. We'll take it there, and you can collect your rewards. How does that sound to you? Huh? Did you say rewards? Naturally. We can't let young archaeologists like you go unrewarded. You deserve something. Good job, boys. Yeah. Woo <laughs> treasure. Now we can help with the harbor cleanup. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah!
Mansoor, stow the fishing rods, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Turkey, Solemn, coil the rope. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Where's Obeid? We're doing all the work. Wait for me. Huh? Oh, check this out. I just got a great deal on these. They're peanuts. They were buy one, get one free, so I got two. Uh, uh, uh. Obeid, you do know we're going on a fishing trip, don't you? What are we supposed to do with all these peanuts? Oh, you never know. They might come in handy. <laughs> it's okay, Obeid. Come on, guys, bring those bags. <laughs> Starboard side, three degrees. The best fishing grounds are located out there, in the Opal Sea. The Opal Sea? I've never heard of it. The Opal Sea is full of mysteries. They say there's a forgotten island full of enormous beasts. It's a land with giant beings. But that's just a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, that's not a real place, right? It's not real? What makes you so sure of that, Solemn? Wait, have you been there, Grandpa? The thing is, I'd rather avoid those giant beasts. <laughs> Solemn is right. It's nothing but an old sailor's tale, but it does have giant fish. It's a fisherman's paradise, so that's where we're headed. Let's go. Let's go get those fish. Hooray! Hooray! Let's get the fish! Watch out, fishies. We're coming to get you. Hmm. Rain clouds. That's strange. It's chilly all of a sudden. Hey, who turned off the light? Put the rods away, boys, until this fog clears. Then we'll continue. I'm going to see if I can move us out of this fog. We don't want to be stuck here. Hmm. Grandpa, hmm? is something wrong? The compass is going crazy. That's weird. This isn't good. It seems the radio's dead, too. <laughs> I got it. It's an electrical storm. That can happen in fog. It's just a low-flying cloud. And the lightning is interfering with our electronics. That's right. <laughs> Don't you worry, boys. We'll soon ride it out. The storm shouldn't be long. <laughs> <laughs> At least we hit a sandy beach. It could have been much worse. That's true. Better than hitting rocks. Now let's go survey the damage. Mm. A bent rudder. We'll have to fix that. Will we be able to? Sure. I have the tools, but it'll take a while. Hey, why don't you boys catch some fish for lunch? In the meantime, I'll get started. Go on. Sounds great. Mansoor, help me with the tools, please. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I'm starving. I hope we catch something soon. Got one! Ugh, I need help! Uh, it's a really big one! Look how huge it is! I've never seen a fish that big before! Uh, I can't hold it! No. Ah. Just like in your grandpa's story. What? <gasps> the island of giant creatures! We're on it! Oh, uh, but that's... That's just an old sailor's tale, isn't it? Uh, ah! uh, uh. Obeyed was right! We have to hide, let's go! Uh, uh. Uh. Grandpa! Uh. Grandpa, look out! Huh? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Get away! Huh? Oh! It's a direct hit. Quick, another one. Push it! <laughs> We're 
safe now. Phew. Uh, yes! uh. What are they feeding the animals in this place? I don't care. As long as it's not us, I don't care. We have to get down. giant bug was only the appetizer. And it looks like we're the main course. I knew it! <laughs> Hold on. I actually think he's friendly. Mansoor, what are you doing? Come on, it's safe. And look! Yikes! <laughs> you stay away from me! Grandpa! And Sor! I think the big one is the little one's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> we have to stop him or he'll shake the boat to pieces! <laughs> I've got peanuts! I've heard that monkeys like peanuts! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Down. Mm. Down now. <sighs> Home, please. <laughs> I think it's working, Mentor. <laughs> Hold on, boys. Watch out! Watch out! What is everything on this island want to eat us for lunch? <laughs> We have to help Junior. Quickly, pass me a rod now. Mansoor, we don't have time for fishing. Wait for it, wait. Uh, and now! Huh, we might have not caught any fish, but we did get a giant bird. Uh, come on! Can we please go home now before a giant crab attacks us? Come on, let's go. Well, we won't be going anywhere with this bent rudder. And what's worse, I lost my hammer up on the mountain. Let's try this, Grandfather. I'm, I'm trying! trying. I'm trying. Oh. 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 It's not strong enough. What now? All right, let's go, boys. Time to go home. One second. <laughs> Obey, get the peanuts. <laughs> Goodbye now! <laughs> Grandpa, look! It's the fog! We have to go back into it to get back home. Buckle up. Grab your fishing rods, boys. We're back to the Opal Sea, where the fish are the right size, and most of all, we're not lunch. <laughs>
looking to make your school soccer team tryouts? Want to improve your skills, become a better player, and ensure your spot on the team? Then we have the solution for you. Smart ball! The only practical way to hone your skills. Who needs a boring old soccer ball anyway, am I right? With Smart Ball, it's like having three balls in one. The amazing new Smart Ball is all you will ever need to quickly upgrade your game. It has special features, such as changing its size and weight to help you develop all the skills you will ever need to use on the soccer field right at your fingertips. And that's not all. It can also shrink to half its size to help develop your dribbling and fine-tune your control. The Smart Ball can also grow bigger and heavier to help develop your shooting power. Smart Ball, the only ball you'll ever need. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. You will never want to play with another ball ever again. Your parents ever teach you any manners, young man? Ouch! Oh. Huh? I heard the competition is really heating up this year. No one's place on the team is huh? guaranteed. Not even on the bench. How long has it been since your last game? I can't remember. What about your last practice? It's been too long. I'm rusty. Me too. How's your stamina? Not good. You know what we need? A smart huh? ball. You said you have a smart ball? Shh. You said you have a smart ball? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But what's it to you anyway, kid? Well, I tried to buy one at the mall, but they were all sold out. Shh. Uh, keep it on the low. I have what you need. Meet us at the park. OK, OK. You know, it's huh? sold out everywhere. We'll have to charge you extra for the inconvenience. Don't forget it. I heard the competition is really heating up this year. No, it's place on the team is guaranteed. Not even on the bench. Hello! Did you bring Shh. the smart ball? Shh. Quiet! That's so loud! Do you want the whole park to know we have it? Oh, I get it. Did you bring it? What? The smart ball! Shh. You oh. know the thing! That thing, I mean, did you bring the thing? Oh, you want the thing? Yeah. I have the thing. Who are you? I'm obeyed. Obeyed from school? Yeah, that's me. How do I know it's you? Oh, we're in the same class. Oh. Did you bring it then? I did. Hear it. No, uh, don't. Are you insane? Do you know how many kids want to buy this ball? We'll be mobbed. Come this way. Huh? Hey, that's all my allowance. We can cancel the deal if you want. But it's the last smart ball I have. No, no, I do want the smart ball. You won't regret it. But no returns after the sale. There's no refunds. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Wow, thank you so... Uh huh? 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 <laughs> I just sold another one of those knockoff smart balls to another loser. Which means there will be less competition at the tryouts. We'll make the team for sure now. Right. Who knew there were so many dummies? It's not like a ball will make you play any better. In the meantime, we'll make a fortune off of them. <laughs> <laughs> And now, with no smart ball or practice time left, I'm never going to make the soccer team. You know, I might be able to help you out. I doubt it. How are you ever going to outdo the smart ball, Mansoor? Easy. I'll just make the smart ball 2.0. Okay, let's see how smart this ball really is. Huh? So cool. Oh. Awesome! Aside from the regular standard features of the Smart Ball, the new Smart Ball 2.0 has a great header practice mode. Hey. Uh. 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 Does your ball do that? <laughs> it also features turbo mode for endurance training. I know it doesn't do that. 
And the Smart Belt 2.0 has penalty mode to train goalkeepers. Whoa. How much did you say you paid for that Smart Ball again? Huh? Oh. What ball did you sell him? I sold him the usual. The same thing that we sold everyone else. Well, I doubt that. That Smart Ball isn't this Smart Ball. Or this one. Okay, I get it. It's obviously different. We need to find out it how. Must be an upgraded model that we got by mistake. And you sold it to him. We need to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> All the regular features of a smart ball are available on this model as well, such as the shrinking, non bouncing mode to improve dribbling skills and the heavier weight setting to help you develop a much stronger shot, becoming a better player and teammate in the process. <laughs> Give it a try now. Uh? Now, the best part of all, for security reasons, the Smart Ball 2.0 has been given a thumbprint ID scanner so that it recognizes its owner and will only take orders from them. By them, you mean... You, Salem, and me. Now let's put this ball to some good use. Is anyone up for a game of five on five? <laughs> this is our big chance. I know you somehow cheated me. I'm going to take this ball back. Watch me. Is that so? Let's see if you can pull this off. Those puny arms of yours, you'll never get it past me. Hmm. I will make it heavier. Programmable thumbprint ID? I knew there was something fishy going on with this smart ball. Well, let's reprogram. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> you failed the tryouts! You're not going to be on this team again! Ever! All right, class is over. That's the end of school for this week, everyone. Obeyed and I are going for a swim now. Have a good time at your grandma's. Oh, no, I won't. See you at the mall tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes, I almost forgot another bit of news, something rather fun. Look, there's my grandpa. Hi there, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Mansoor and Obeyed. What are you up to? We're 
were just looking around. And waiting for Solemn. Oh, that's nice. Guess what? I'm thinking about getting one. A, A bike! bike! A bike. I think it's the coolest thing you could ever buy. Well, I'm not getting it now because I'm so hungry. Mm, then how about you buy us some ice cream? <laughs> All right, then, come on. What would you like, boys? <sighs> I'll have a small strawberry, please, with mango pieces. And I'll have one with chocolate and strawberries and a mango and banana and... Obeyed. Obeyed. What's wrong? You guys are the ones that told me fruits were good for me. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't seem to have my wallet on me for some reason. Uh, I must have left it somewhere. It's okay, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Oh, I've forgotten to bring my money. Obeyed? Um, seems like I don't have any either. I must have spent it all at some point. Uh, I'm sorry, boys, but uh, I have to go and look for my wallet. I'll get you an ice cream another time, once I find it. See you later, uh, Grandpa. But, uh, but, uh, but my ice cream! Come on, Obeyed. Oh. Hi, Shama. Hmm? Hello there, guys. Oh. Hello. What are you two doing? We're waiting for Salem. And not eating ice cream. My grandpa was just about to treat us to an ice cream, but when he went to pay, he couldn't find his wallet. Oh, that's too bad. Well, if you'd seen us a bit earlier, you could have joined us for one. But alas, we've got to go. Well, you're in luck. Here, you can use these ice cream vouchers. Thank, Thank you, Shama. Shama. Next time, it's our treat. Awesome! That was nice of Shama. And now we can finally go get our ice cream. I want some juice, please. I'll have the same thing. Mm. And one of these. Hmm? Mm. Huh? Mansoor! Look who's over there! It's weird seeing our teacher, Mr. Ali, in the mall. Why is that? Because it's strange to think that they're actually real people, you know? <laughs> I mean, they eat and drink and shop just like normal people do. What did you think? That they just lived at the school and never go out? Yes, I did. What the? That was weird. Mm-hmm. We've got to go and return this to him. Come on, hurry. I'll catch up to you. This uh, is important, oh. Obeyed. Come on. <laughs> but ice cream is important, too. <laughs> uh, which way did he go? Did you see? Right there. Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali. <laughs> He left. Why does he keep running away from us? <laughs> huh? This doesn't make sense. It doesn't. That's why we've got to keep trying to reach him. Mm -hmm. Obeyed? We have to find him. Come on.
Huh? Mansoor, he could be anywhere. This is impossible. Hmm, I got it. Maybe we need Nano's help for this. There's a slim chance it'll work, but it's worth a try, I think. <laughs> Hello, Nano. Hello, Mansoor. Do you think you can locate Teacher Ali? I'll try. Here I go. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Teacher Ali located. Well done, Nano. Where is he then? He is right here. Mr. Ali, we've got your. Huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> mm, I just don't understand what's going on. <laughs> oh, look, there's Salem. Hi, Salem. Did you end up having a good time at your grandma's house? No. But what did you two do? Um, well, we saw Mr. Ali. Yeah, who ran away from us. But he dropped his wallet. Yeah, while he ran away from us. So we've been trying to return it to him all this time. Yep, but he keeps running away from us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why, do you? No. no. Why? why? I'm not going to tell you, but I will help you find him. Ah, uh, mm. okay. You can help. Mm. Which way did he go? Okay, let's go. But this time we hide and move stealthily. No running or shouting, do you hear? Uh-huh. No sign of him. Then we keep moving. Over there! Follow me. And make sure he doesn't see you. Why all the sneaking around? It's very weird. You'll see soon enough. Teacher Ali, Teacher Ali, <gasps> this is a surprise. I spotted you during the weekend. Now may I have my prize, please? Well done, Salam. Salam. And, and yes, yes you, you may have, have your prize. prize. Did he huh? say prize? Thank you. How come you won them? You left class too fast, so you didn't hear Mr. Ali tell us that today was Spot Your Teacher Day. Since I spotted him and said the special words first, I won the prize, which is this voucher. But we spotted you earlier. Perhaps, but you didn't say the special words. But we didn't know what the words were. Tough luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Huh? Where's my wallet? Oh, Mr. Ali, we found your wallet. You dropped it in the restaurant. That's why we were chasing you. Oh, Ben and I didn't know anything about Spot Your Teacher Day or the prize. Yeah, and I didn't even finish my ice cream so we could give it back. Oh, I thought you were just playing the game. But now I understand what you were really doing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful, boys. I mean it. <laughs> well, I think one good turn deserves another. Would you like an ice cream? Oh, yes, yes, please! please. <laughs> <laughs> Three more ice creams, please. If you want to get better, what I would suggest is that you should spend more time practicing football and a little less time studying and writing essays, cousin. Get up and catch! <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, let's stop the game for a bit. Let's take a break and go get a drink. Good idea. 
Hey guys, why don't you come try a free sample of this new drink, Bingo Pop? Oh! Mm -hmm. It tastes good. By the way, if you're interested to know, we also have a competition right now to find the face of a Bingo uh -huh. Pop. The huh? face of Bingo Pop? What does that mean? What she means is that the winner will represent Bingo Pop through advertisements and posters with their face. Sounds exciting. I would like to win so I can be famous. Uh. I'm going to be the new face for Bingo Pop. Mm -hmm. Or me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What? I would pick you as the winner, Salem. But the Bingo Pop people are probably looking for someone that looks more like Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> It says here that along with submitting the photos of you, you have to write an essay no less than 200 words, stating the reasons as to why you love Bingo Pop. What? No way. You may have the muscles, but I doubt you have the writing talent. I have all the pictures I need to submit, and now I'm going to write the essay that will make me the winner of the competition. I need my beauty sleep, and for that reason, cousin, I will wish you a very good night. Are you waiting to win the competition? Hmm. Oh, my poor, poor turkey. You won't win the competition with this. Turkey, what are you doing? I'm following up on Bingo Pop's competition because they're going to announce the winner today. Salem, did you enter the competition too? Mm, yeah, sort of. Yeah, he entered, but we all know there's only gonna be one winner. Who knows? You might win, Salem. <laughs> we'll see. I got something. Are you sure you sent my form in, Salem? Of course. Guys! <gasps> I got a message from Bingo Pop! Tell us, what does it say? Go outside. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Turkey, you won! <laughs> really? Really, I won? Can you believe it, cousin? I won, I won! Yay. Yay. Congratulations, Turkey! Your wonderful essay has won you a year's supply of Bingo Pop. You'll also be Yay. the star of all Bingo Pop's <laughs> advertising. <Bravo. laughs> huh. It was a very well-written piece. We really enjoyed reading it. Really? Um, uh, I mean, thank you. Are you ready? Uh, uh, okay, let's go. Okay, we are getting the costumes ready right now. Turkey, this is for you. And your friends will wear those there. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look absolutely amazing, Salem. Don't worry, Salem. We all look silly. All of us except for Turkey. Yes, everyone looks great. We're gonna take some photos. Great work. Now we'll begin to shoot the TV advertisement, okay? Everyone ready and action. Hi there, my name is Turkey, and Bingo Pop is so delicious. Cut, that's a wrap. Well done, everyone. Turkey, so are you enjoying this new job? Yeah, I am, but I think I drank way too much Bingo Pop. Attention, Turkey, I have a big surprise for you. Guess what, you're going to be the guest on a live TV show tonight. Come on, let's go. 
Please, everyone, feel free to drink as much Bingo Pop as you want. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Honestly, guys, working in a pair costume can sure make you thirsty. No, 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 thanks. I can't drink any more than I have already. But we need to take a picture of you, Turkey, so we can post it on our social media sites. Excellent. <laughs> Ready for another surprise? Look! Oh. Wow! Look! I'm everywhere! And don't feel bad, Salem. The best actor won. Me! <gasps> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we will welcome the new face of Bingo Pop, whom you'll see everywhere. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah. Hello, everyone. How do you feel now that you have become the most famous boy in the country? Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, it feels amazing, to be honest. You won because of the great descriptive essay you wrote for this competition. And my favorite part is when you wrote, and I quote, beautifully brilliant bursts of fabulous, fantastic tasting fruit tantalizingly tickle my taste buds. Hmm? Oh. And then you end with a great final slogan. Can you share what it is with us? Mm -mm. Um. I think it was, um, uh, uh, this juice is tasty. And when I drink it, it makes me feel like I want to fly. Ah. No, that's not what you wrote. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe it was, maybe it was Bingo Pop. Makes me jump freely like, uh, uh, um, uh, a kangaroo. Ah. Hmm? Huh? No. That's not it either. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I remembered it. Um, 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 Bingo Pop makes me hold my head mm. with embarrassment. No, what you wrote is, Bingo Pop, it's the fruitiest burst of burstiest fruit. How do you not remember that? Um, to be honest, I didn't write this essay. My cousin Salem did. Oh. <gasps> Does this mean you cheated? No, but I did get some help from him. He's the best cousin in the world. <laughs> this makes us happy. All right, could you take a sip of the juice and tell us your slogan? I mean, your cousin's slogan. <laughs> um... Bingo Pop, it's... <clears throat> Disgusting, I can't drink anymore. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Turkey, you now have more than 15 million views on social media. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Salem, what you did was actually very kind. Mm, well, I realized that Turkey wanted to win more than I did. And I also realized that my essay was better than his, so... So that's how you made me make a fool of myself on a live TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Salem. You were very kind. I'm sorry. I let the fame get to my head. Huh? 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 Hello, Turkey. Even though you're no longer the face of Bingo Pop, we're contractually obligated to give you the other part of your prize. And what is it? This. A year's supply of Bingo Pop. Oh. I hope you enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 